I wish I didn't have to make this video. I wish this wasn't a thing that happened. As I'm recording this, yesterday, January 7th, no, 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 two days ago, January 6th of 2021, people decided that they wanted to storm the Capitol. And we had many, many people that encouraged them to do this, including Rudy Giuliani, a lot of Republican... Um, senators and representatives who didn't urge them to seize the capital, but urged them to fight back against uh, the election results. I, myself, was raised conservative. I understand what it's like to have somebody you don't want in office being elected to office or to have somebody you want in office lose. But this, this is wrong. This is treason. You are terrorists. You have see you seized the fucking capital. And not only that, not only did you commit treason, were you terrorists on your own soil. You make America look weak to all the countries that want to take us down. China, Russia, most of the Middle East. So many places already don't like the United States of America. So many places already want us taken out of everything. And you're just going to sit by and give them the chance that they want by sowing civil unrest. Do you, if you can get into the Capitol, do not understand that that makes them think, wow, that's how easy it is. That's how America's defense system is. You are not only threatening the senators who don't do what you want, the representatives who don't do what you want, the government that isn't doing what you want. You're threatening yourself. You're threatening the people that live around you. You're threatening every single person that is in our military and will have to fight on your dumbass behalf because you decided that you wanted change that wasn't happening. So for me, the rest of the military, I can't say that, I don't speak for the military, but for me and for my people that I know who are in the military with me, fuck you. You're putting our lives in danger. You're putting your life in danger. You're putting your children's lives in danger. You're putting your friends' lives in danger. People see that America is weak and we can let people storm our capital. That puts all of America in danger. So, not only fuck you, fuck the policemen who didn't stop you. Fuck the people that didn't let the National Guard get deployed to stop these people. These terrorists. These traitors. People who commit treason do not deserve to just waltz into the Capitol. But that's what they let them do. And it shouldn't have stopped where it did. The Secret Service only killed one person, which is a good thing. Only one person had to die. But so many more than that should be put in jail. So many more than that should have been fired upon with tear gas, with rubber bullets. They should have been hosed down with fire trucks. They should have done what they could to get those people out of there. Show of force. That's what we needed. Not this bullshit oh, we'll let you waltz into the Capitol. So for the firemen who didn't step up, you should have. For the policemen who didn't step up, you should have. For the policemen that did, thank you. For the people that lost and accepted the results, thank you. For everybody that isn't one of those scumbags who assaulted our fucking Capitol, thank you. And to anybody that is, you are the scum of the earth and a traitor. And I want you to know that in most countries around the world, the punishment for treason is death. And that's what I feel you deserve. Because that's what you're going to bring on anybody else that these countries around us that don't like us, decide they want to fight us, 
or in takeover or uh say fucking canada if canada decides hey america's treating its citizens like fucking shit let's step in and help them we're suddenly at war with somebody else while we're already at an, in an internal war our citizens hate each other half of our citizens hate the other half we're no longer the united states of america <laughs> There's no unitedness between us. Nothing unites us anymore. When 9-11 hit, the thing that united us was a hatred for terrorism. And here you are, standing on our own front doorstep, spreading fucking terror. You are a terrorist. Get the fuck out of my country.